Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Gene Clemens coming to you live. Well, it's not live, but you know what it is. I'm on the whiteboard, and I'm going to be talking to you about the first of three plays that I really like that Brian Dable implemented to make to help Josh Allen become the quarterback that we see now. And part of what I think he will do once he comes to New York, or, or now that he's with the New York Giants, to help Daniel Jones improve as they decide to go with him at least into next year and possibly into the future. Now up here what I have is this is an empty set. And again, allowing Josh Allen to be the sole guy in the backfield because he has athleticism is similar to Daniel Jones. Actually, I think Daniel Jones is probably faster than Josh Allen while Acknowledging that Josh Allen is built more like Cam Newton, which allows him to take a little bit more of the physical punishment that we've seen that, that you know, Daniel Jones hasn't been able to do. But one of the fun things that he does, one of the good things that he does, and we'll see other coordinators do it, but he does it, is help the quarterback to identify whether or not this is man or zone. And so what he does is he moves this outside guy and motions him inside, and when he does that, this defensive backup here moves with him. So now he knows, Josh Allen knows pre-snap, this is man-to-man. -man. If it wasn't man-to-man, -man, these guys would have just bumped down, but they didn't do that, so we know that it's man. Then we get a beautiful, on the snap, we get a beautiful little rub route from these two guys out here running essentially over routes that get in the way of this defender. The number three, which is actually Singletary here, goes out into the flat. That's an easy read for Allen because as soon as he sees that, that Singletary's man is involved in all of this clutter between these receivers and DBs, he just throws that easy route out here to Singletary. Singletary's able to get a nice gain up the sideline. It's one of those plays where it seems simple because it is, but it brings confidence. It allows your quarterback to get an easy throw, and that's what we want to work on with Daniel Jones. We want him to get easy throws. And so if you're, if you're giving him opportunity to get easy throws, that's going to turn into benefits for the Giants. Again, stay tuned. Next time I'm going to show you another play, part two of this three-part series that I think that Brian Dable will install to help Daniel Jones reach his full potential.